Good afternoon, folks. This is Fred Campos, owner of DFW Website Designers. It is a wonderful, rainy Wednesday, December 29th, 2021. And this is your three business tips at three o'clock in and around three minutes. This last week, week number 52 of 2021, I thought I'd end by talking about time hacks. We've been talking about it all week since Sunday. And today we're going to talk about before opening, team passing, and acknowledge push. Today we're going to talk about time hacks. Small business owners, making use of your time is obviously the most valuable thing that you can do to run your business efficiently. As a business owner who watches about 450 other small businesses run, I've learned a few things from my clientele. Leave it to them to teach me a few things. Anything I'm learning, I want to share with you. Now, just because I learned something doesn't mean I implement every one of these, even though these are some great ideas, and I have implemented a few, but I would like to implement more of these so that I can make better use of my time, and maybe you would like to make better use of yours. The first one I have implemented is called Before Opening. As you know, this past Sunday, we changed our hours, and we're now closed on Sunday and Monday, and actually, I work Tuesday through Saturday, but don't open until 10 o'clock. But what that's given me is the ability to come into the office. Yes, I still come into the office at 8 a.m., but I now have two hours before the phone starts ringing, before employees start doing a million other things to actually get ready. And those time hacks have greatly improved my life because I may not get everything ready for the day the way you're supposed to the night before, but I have been able to get a couple hours of work in uh, before the phone rings and at least one hour starting before my staff does, which is awesome. So consider working before you open. Business tip number two is what I call a team pass. So many times, small business owners, you want to do everything yourself, but you don't have to do that, but you may want to do a piece of it. So maybe you start something and pass it. And what you do is you play to people's strengths. Think of like the volleyball. You were on a volleyball team and maybe there was a really good setter and there was one that could actually just, you know, serve the ball over the net. You would pass it from one to the other. In the web design world, I might start something and pass it over to my logo design person, over to my builder, but I'm not involved in everything. In your business, what is it that you can do that maybe you do a lot of that you can get started, but maybe pass it to another employee, teammate, or virtual assistant? Business tip number three is what I call the acknowledge push. A lot of these tips you guys have said, hey, Fred, you know what? I'm in an emergency business or I'm in the web design business like you. When someone's website's down, it's an emergency. And I get that because I, I can relate to a lot of that. But sometimes, even if it is an emergency and it's disrupting your day, all you have to do is talk to the client and say, I acknowledge that you're having this problem. We're going to get to it as soon as we can, but we're going to do it on X time. It's what I call the acknowledge push. It's not the acknowledge drop everything and focus on that client, but you're touching the client, but you're scheduling it so it doesn't totally disrupt your, your flow or your calendar for the day. Before opening, team pass and acknowledge push. Those are the three tips I have for you today. That's what I'm learning. Hopefully you can learn and implement these as well. I want you to end and have a great 2021.